Hello and welcome to tutorial number 41 in the Community Builder 2.0 series. Today we'll be discussing uh, a different topic. Uh, we'll be discussing CBJuice. CBJuice is a script, basically it's a Joomla component that has been written, uh, that is written by and, and maintained by the community. Uh, there's a forum on Joomlapolis for support which is community driven. The two developers or the development team basically uh, help out as much as they can. I'll be giving you URLs to the script and to the forum in the comments of the video. But basically what the script does is it allows you to import uh, new users into your community builder slash Joomla environment. So you don't have to create them manually one at a time you can just have a comma delimited uh, text file that's imported through this script. So let's just go to it right away. Let me show you what the script looks like. I've installed it already. It's CBJuice 2. There's a version for uh, Community Builder 2.0. And there's basically three options, process, save, and about. Let's just go to the process for a, sec for a second. The first thing you should do is basically go to the options and actually save this. Uh, the default delimiter is a comma. Just save the, the current settings. You have to do this once and that's it. So what CBJuice does initially is it gives you a list here of all your fields, anything you can basically import. So this it grabs this from your installation. So you see in our tutorial site, we have the CB gender, for example, field and the birthday field and so on. So what we need to do basically in order to import new users is to create a comma delimited field. And I'm basically using uh, LibreOffice and I've created, I want to import five, five users. The first row basically is the the header row which basically has the field names uh, register date is the field name for the member since date it's basically a Joomla field but that's the title of it user type is will hold the group registered or registered delimited editor the delimiter field here for the group lists is backslash pipe. And then we have usernames. You can put a password or you keep this blank or you don't even have to have this column at all and it'll just create random passwords. The first name, last name, email, the gender values here, birth date. The date is in the format year, month, day, time, the way it is here. If you have a multi-select field, it's basically its values are delimited with the pipe, star pipe, the way we see it here. And here we have like a yes, no field. Yes is one, no is zero. So basically, the idea is we want to import these five users here. Now, the first thing basically you really have to do is make sure that uh, there are no conflicts in the email because you're only allowed to have unique emails in Joomla and also in the username. And not only conflicts within the file itself, but with the other users you already have on your website. So you have to do your homework and make sure everything is correctly uh, formatted and it makes sense. Otherwise, the script will basically error out and give you a message on what the error was and you'll have to go back and either fix it and re-import or actually manually do whatever changes you need to do afterwards. So again, these are the fields uh, and you can see the field list basically here. Okay, the only field that's not here basically is the uh, user type field, which is something CBJuice understands. So this right now is in an open office format. We need basically to export it, to save it, as, save as, and we save it as 
here uh, a CSV file, so we have to go here and instead of ODS to a let's find it text CSV. Okay, and I think I already have one. Let's just overwrite it here. You CB juice import, save, replace. Okay, it gives us a message here. We use a text format. We keep everything default. The character sets UTF-8, delimiter, field is comma, and the text delimiter are quotes. Okay, we can take a look and see uh, what that looks like. Let me just find it here. There we go. Uh, operations, tutorials, video blog. Okay, I'll just show you what it looks like the actual import file in a in a text editor. Okay, so that's what it looks like basically. Date, comma, registered, and so on. Okay, so if we've done everything correctly then we can just go to the CB Juice backend, the process CSVs, okay? We want to click here where it says add mode. It basically will be adding new records. If it finds something that already exists, it will not update it. It'll just skip the record. Okay, and here down here we basically choose the file, the CSV file. So let me just go find what I just created. There we go. Okay, now if we import users at this level the way we're the way we're doing it what will happen is uh joomla will try to send each one of these users the new user notification email in order to stop joomla from doing that let me just log in here from the back end again let's take a look we have to go to the extensions plugin manager search for the user Joomla plugin here and actually turn off notification mail to users so instead of yes set that to no this will stop Joomla from rushing to send an email to these users that are importing okay so back here we've selected the file we've selected the add mode you can do there's a nice feature here if you want you can actually have CB Juice send an email to the users and you can substitute the password field here CB CB Juice password is an, uh, is a substitution that can be used I'm not touching this now because we don't need to have that okay so if everything is done correctly we should just let's just look at what our users are right now to see we have basically I already did this before. Let me remove these. <laughs> so let me just delete those. There we go. <clears throat> so basically we have 16 users. And let's go and click on process here. Process the CSV is a green button. We click here. If everything went correctly, we see the message here. Each user successfully added. And there's a, a summary count of records involved five count of records used five so basically everything was used nothing was skipped no issues no problems so if I go now back and refresh the user list hold on user list we see that we have 21 users and we can look and see that the registration date for example is the one we imported 1st of December 2014 and if we look at some of the fields we'll see for example that mail was set here the birthday field was set and the expertise field here community and group jive okay i think that's enough to get you started i mean cb juice has some other features you can actually even edit uh existing users and but you have to basically 
set up your CSV correctly, do your testing, turn off emails as I did now so you don't uh, uh, flood people with mails unless you're ready for it, and just test before you use it on a live site. Uh, you might have to increase some of your PHP execution time values if, you, if you're importing a huge uh, list. Uh, so there is some maximum execution time, for example, that you should make to at least two minutes or three minutes. Otherwise, it'll uh, it'll cause you issues. You can also break the import file into chunks and do a, a chunk at a time. It's really up to you. But first, experiment, and then you can use this to import your users. The users are automatically imported both in Community Builder and Joomla, so. They're ready for, uh, for live production after the import. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.